To me, the Rose Bowl is the greatest event in all of sports, and it's going to be on full display New Year's Day as Wisconsin represents the Big Ten Conference against Oregon, the Pac-12 champ. So let's start with Wisconsin and their head coach, Paul Chris. This is a guy who played at Wisconsin. He's coaching at his dream school, and his team is set up for success. You got a quarterback in Jack Cohn who's dramatically efficient, only four picks on the season, and one of the best running backs in the country in Jonathan Taylor. I had him fifth on my Heisman ballot for whatever that is worth, and he's done something that no one has ever done in the history of FBS football, which is three straight seasons of 1,900 or more rushing yards. So this Oregon defense, led by defensive coordinator Andy Avalos, is going to have to come ready to rock and be physical at the line of scrimmage. And for Oregon fans, well, there's nothing new there because that's exactly who you are. Led by Kayvon Thibodeau, the freshman defensive player of the year in the Pac-12 Conference, absolutely dominant in the Pac-12 title game. When you look at the host of defensive linemen like Jordan Scott, Austin Fowlu and company, this is a stout defensive front. And of course, Troy Dott, the four-year starter, senior captain, has led this team in tackles every year he's been in Oregon, returns home for his career finale as a duck. Talking about career finales, how about Justin Herbert, another four-year starter, the face of this program, potential number one overall draft pick. He leads this team in a game that he's been dreaming about his entire life. How does he play against this Wisconsin defense? Great opportunity for him and his litany of wide receivers, and of course, all three running backs that they'll use, an opportunity to score points. How do they do it? Can they do it often? I think bottom line, this game will be physical. Penae Sewell on the offensive front. Talked about the defensive lineman earlier. Whatever team wins the line of scrimmage, will be celebrating with a rose in their mouth at the Rose Bowl on New Year's Day.